Hello everyone, welcome to AB Animation Studios. Help you guys are doing good. So this week we are going to create this awesome intro. And we are going to see how to create a depth of field in the end. So please don't skip the video. Let's start. To create this sky scene, you should download some images from the internet. Just search in Google. Make sure that images are PNG and transparent, so you can easily use it. I have already downloaded some images and imported into After Effects. If you want you can download the same images. Link will in the description. Let's create a comp now. Click this icon to get the comp window. You can create as per your need. I am using this setting. Create a solid layer. Change the color and name. Now just drag and drop the cloud images into the comp. Enable the 3D for the layer. If you are not able to find the option click this. Then select all cloud layers and enable 3D like this. Now we need to align the clouds in the 3D space. Just follow the tutorial. Make the screen into two views, so you can easily identify the position of the layers. So left side will be top angle, right side will be active camera, which will show the final output. Now start arranging the cloud layers. If you are feeling too much of spaces there, please go ahead and download more cloud images or just duplicate the cloud and arrange it like this. Totally you can change it. I am just showing the workflow. As we are filling the space with clouds, please check our videos. Weekly we are uploading some tutorials and some motion graphics video under random topics. Please do check and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Ok, once you are done 50%, create a camera and null. Then parent camera with null and make null as a 3D layer. So now you can animate just a null layer. Before doing animation make sure all places are filled. Set the start position for the camera before moving into animation. Wherever you feel space is there, you can fill the space with the clouds.
Now start animating the null layer like this. Set the end position and fill it with clouds, if you are feels it's empty. Now just animate the cloud's position, so it gives dynamic feel to the animation. Check the animation and make sure you are satisfied with that. See this animations are so simple and basic, just you need to see the animation flow, so it's look awesome. Check each and every moment of clouds. Now apply easy ease to null layer. If you need to know more about graph editor please check the i card above. Wherever you feel space is there you can fill the space with the clouds. Now add a text and animate as your wish. Enable 3D and reposition. Check the camera animation. I am going to do mask animation for the text, just follow the video. Just make random mask on the text layer. Now press M on the keyboard so you can see mask option. Then close and open this small arrow. Now give some feather for the mask. Finally with expansion animate it. Arrange keyframe randomly. Now check the animation before moving into next.
As I told earlier don't stop till you get satisfied, keep exploring. This camera animation also your wish. If your camera path is not correct and jumping while animating, you should select this pen tool and break this curve. Now this will be smooth. To add a next text don't create new one because you have to arrange it. So just duplicate sky text layer then change it accordingly to you. I am changing the animation, that's why I deleted the mask. Almost our video is ready now, just make sure colors are matching, and enable the motion blur, and we can add depth of field also. Change the view to two views. Go to camera. Select camera options. Now on the depth of field. I am just increasing the values so we can see the depth and judge the distance. This is the text layer where we need to focus. I am just marking the position with the help of ruler. This line is a focus distance marker, so with this you can easily mark the focus distance. To check the position just making the value more, we'll change it afterwards. Just animating the focus distance, this will slow down the system. If you need some better result you can do otherwise not an issue, just trend without depth of field. I am making this video a bit faster. So that's it guys we are done, please check your animation and the file before rendering, hope you guys like this video and learned something new, please comment below and share your thoughts, and please check our instagram page also, there we are uploading some awesome contents sure you guys will enjoy it, thank you so much for your love and support, stay safe, with lots of love, AB Animation Studios.